These are photos of the women who served in the 6th Triple Eight, the only all-female, all-African-American Army squadron during World War II. Their remarkable story, now the subject of a documentary film. I spoke with the CEO of the Foundation for Women Warriors to learn more as part of our series Celebrating Community. In February of 1945, hundreds of African-American women were recruited for the war effort. The 6,888th Central Post Directory Battalion, also known as the 6888, were sent overseas to Europe for a specific mission. They were assigned to clear a backlog of over 17 million pieces of mail that were then impacting the troop morale. Uh, no mail, low morale was their motto. Jody Grenier is the CEO of the San Diego area-based Foundation for Women Warriors. The organization is screening a documentary this week telling the little-known story of these remarkable women who were given six months to complete their task but did it in three. They had no heat in the warehouse that they were working. Uh, they had darkened um, the room. There was uh, barely any light. And then uh, when they first got there, rats had gotten into like care packages. So not only were they sorting mail, but they're sorting through you know, just kind of a disaster. There is now a push to formally recognize the women of the 6888 with the Congressional Gold Medal. Unfortunately, out of the 855 women that made up the battalion, only six remain alive today. It's passed the Senate twice. This last time it passed unanimously, and now it's in the House, and it only needs three votes of the 290 to see it come to fruition. Bernier says telling the story of the 6888 is part of their mission and hopes the film gives people an opportunity to learn. This is just another way to educate the public and our own community on the, uh, the incredible women that did so much um, for not just our country, but the world. The 6888 documentary will be shown tomorrow night at 6.30 during a free online screening through the Foundation for Women Warriors. You can go to their website, foundationforwomenwarriors.org, or there is a link on 10news.com.